All right, senators from both sides, are, by the way, bending the rules a bit during another day of long arguments. As House Intel Chairman Adam Schiff is lavished with praise, will his arguments be enough to sway? All he needs is a handful of GOP senators. Well, Republican Senator Mike Vaughn, uh, he's been those three days in there. Let's see what he thinks at this point. Senator, good to have you back with us. Good to be back on. First of all, what is all this rule breaking and walking around and snacking that we were told was not going to be able to happen? Well, we were warned that if you spoke to one another, you could be put in prison. Right, that, we heard jail. Yes. Uh, they said prison, I think, actually. Oh, okay. So I wondered how long that would last. And so I guess there's a difference between talking and whispering. And mm. I think through the whole, and it has been monotonous in the sense I paid close attention in the House proceedings. Mm -hmm. And every piece of information is repackaged, and we're hearing the same thing. So for some senators that may not have watched it as closely, uh, might be picking up some things here and there. But the basics of the case haven't changed. Just listen to Chuck there. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the evidence is overwhelming, and they've been just stressing and stressing that. So that would beg the question, why do you need more witnesses? I really feel because it's not overwhelming and I uh, it's kind of analogous to the Kavanaugh hearings when the case started to stumble delay look for more witnesses and you know I think that's what we're into now okay uh, in today in the Washington Post Greg Sargent has a piece Schiff asked GOP senators a tough question the answer is awful he talks about how you guys are stonewalling against this stuff because you don't want to know what else is out there he says future revelations will stand as evidence of what GOP senators covered up but that's still politically less risky from their perspective than taking the chance that new evidence could be still more damning than what's already known and that they'd have to then acquit at that point. I think Leader McConnell put it very uh, astutely that it was their case and it was put together after the Mueller report fell apart and they were in a time squeeze because all along, I'll give them one thing, they've been completely uh, thrown off by President Trump and when I go back to the fact I was hearing discussions of impeachment you know before he was inaugurated that to me tainted the whole process and we as senators are taking on such a grave consideration this isn't like if you end up with a conviction that you can get probation it is like Nikki Haley said it is the death penalty and they are trying to put together a circumstantial case on quid pro quo and all along and I've been a Trump supporter on the agenda across the board because that is obviously working uh, you know what the president did there uh, probably entangled him in this but it's not impeachable you know and pushing the envelope uh, on uh, investigating corruption I think that's natural when it was one of the most corrupt places, you know, Everybody in the world. Everybody can see that. I and mean, the Bidens the were entangled there. And when you talk about witnesses, I'm nearly certain that if we get there, that will be reciprocal. And that means mm -hmm. the Bidens, the whistleblower, and uh, then the whole discussion might fall apart. So you wouldn't call it a perfect call? No. Okay. But... That doesn't mean you think it's impeachable. I mean, those are two different questions. Okay, so uh, I want to play something else that Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer had to say about how intently you all were watching today. But the evidence was so compelling and Schiff's arguments were so powerful that just to, I looked around several times. Every Republican was looking right at him and listening. So our hope is this will have an effect. Okay, Senator Kennedy told us yesterday that he did hear or learn some things that he didn't know before. So do you think that these arguments are connecting with your GOP counterparts? I'll say one thing. Their method is time of possession, uh, but there aren't many field goals and certainly no touchdowns. And I did listen to almost every part of the House proceedings. It started behind closed doors. It then had the public version. You had the four constitutional experts. And every time you could see where they would bring up some of the same information. Here they've packaged it with audio visual mm -hmm. and they've done a pretty decent job there. But if you really watched it in the first go around, all of that was there in the House proceedings. I have not seen anything new. Okay, so you're going back for another day tomorrow. Um, are you taking your own snacks? Am I taking what? My own, own snacks? snacks. Uh, probably not. I'll probably work out of the cloakroom uh, supply mm -hmm. and uh, maybe one of my neighbors I might uh, take a snack we or two because hear, you need it. We hear Senator Romney has the goods. He does have the goods. All yeah. right. All right. Don't get yourself in prison because this is important what you got to do. I won't do that. Senator Braun, good to see you again. Good